guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> So much for coming back thank you so much for tuning right back in you guys it is tuesday the 24th of september and it is just um everyone's day because it's a holiday went to the mall looking for my new phones cover and you know chargers and stuff didn't do that much though because i wanted to go to apps actually i think they let's get bank was closed so there wasn't much like happening but it's a holiday and it good to be in Makai resting midweek or just before midweek and yeah guys we are also almost at the end of Speak Life September so this week I think I'm gonna focus mainly on that the stuff we're doing and also share what you know i think about the course so yeah please do enjoy the vlog it's gonna be a few days in the life so please do enjoy stick around give it a big thumbs up comment down below subscribe to the channel if you haven't and don't forget to click on your notification bell so that you get notified every time i post a new video so yeah let's enjoy the vlog guys later um i am back guys I'm back and Jenny. Yo, yes, and course you gain it all this, but I didn't even buy myself like new earrings. I normally get them there. Didn't get a lot of things at Woolies. It was just bread. Just bread. Um some smoothie. You juice love 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 these rooibos iced tea and banana and pie and i'm starving guys didn't eat anything i also got these um dried is it dry food roll or something like that yeah it was mango and pear so that's the only thing i ate drink water and i kind of think around 
maybe one or two because the time right now is 16 14 and i am back in lini i want to try edit and see how far i can go and you know what i think that's what i take you guys you know just share the journey on me with well, speak life september came i feel like i wasn't so ready for it but a part of me wanted to be part of it for some reason because i feel like yeah, when I want to join um, the Wisdom and Wellness page, you be part of the family, you, I don't know, it's, for me, it works for me. I love it. It's just one of my favorite um, social media pages. Wellness Hub. I love it, you guys. I was, I went to the first, since I listened to the podcast, I am, I think I'm just up to date with everything they're doing even though i don't like i don't know maybe actively be part of everything and everything that happens Kiona. but speak life september i feel like the first time i joined i was in um i don't know being in korites i would just say that yeah being in korites quite a lot of things were happening i feel like this year as well i was quite challenged you know and i joined at the time where i feel like i was exhausted i don't know and i think as part of the conversations and um the meetings we were having i realized with actually my soul is just drained i would say that i need more than just a break or some time off i need to do things that felt to my soul i need to listen to my body i need to yeah, actually, I think I just need to listen to my body and myself and give to myself what I feel I need um, in this very present moment. So, <clears throat> while I'm on that, it's, my mom is phoning me, guys. So, um, I think I love the cause and everything that they do because I just feel like it helps one to don't get so stuck in your own ways, especially if not all of them are helping you. Yeah, why not you just get to change and adjust methods of doing stuff. You get to adjust your routine. You see what works and what doesn't. Not that it's hard to do that on your own. I think it's... I wouldn't say it to each and every person. Not all of us to reflect. And not all of us have that knowledge. And, you know, that equipped to know good medicines any when we feel stuck and all of that. So I think it's really good. It's really good. And I just love the fact that they don't just focus on, you know, working out like body or money or relationships it's it covers everything that i think a human being will feel fulfilled if all those aspects we attended to if we attended to all of them give attention to all of them and we're growing in all of them i feel like it helps us to be better i feel better also in employees so i think that's just one of the biggest things that i love and benefit from following the the page and from being part of the things that they do and yeah guys so i think even this month as well i had a lot of challenges as much as i was part of the group but i think young caesar to learn to not beat myself up about stuff and also know how to celebrate my wins even weekly goals as well how do i reward myself if i you know i push through and i show up for myself you know for the whole week how do i show up for myself because at times we get to be foreign with the idea of celebrating wins and just celebrations in g i love a lot of things it was quite beneficial so if you want to be part of it i do recommend and for me personally i don't know if i'm going to be part of it every year yeah well but i just feel like if it happens with you by because i feel like this time around it made me aware with you by september there's certain things i should be focusing on um to not find myself in a situation even on the first time i joined and even this as well you know not don't carry a lot of things don't carry a lot of garbage you know process emotions process stuff by september i 
change the way I do things, you know, because it's a new season as well. And see, good tips about So I want to see how next year is going to be for me. And I think that alone is going to help me to see, good see, I'm really progressing with this courses and everything because I don't know anything if any Mali anything that needs your time and commitment I think you need to be ready you need to give yourself fully to the cause and see if it benefits you you can't really tell if it's helpful um not unless you have money to just do whatever you want to do and or maybe you have money to support these causes and it's not much about you benefiting from it but it's just you for you know supporting so yeah for me it has been great i think i love the fact that i journal um reading the word um go to gym no manga halili because of this thing you see i need to show up for myself um but i just feel like this month as well because i was sick on my birthday week i had to learn to say sometimes showing up for myself is listening to my body when my body needs rest i need to rest and I think from last month in this month as well, should have been months where I take things slow, change the way I do things. So I'm happy about that part because it hey, means I don't do... My routine has changed. Even if it's time, I feel like everything I've been doing has changed. Gee, because I've changed, I've a coach, changed my classes because couldn't change your corner. So it's sort of like motivating me again to to keep going to the gym. I want to just take you guys through the process of me uh, doing all these things the seasons I go speak last September and not just tell you but see it's about this it's about that what I've benefiting and whatnot so I just want to show you a bit of the process maybe show you my journaling process how my moves and everything the challenges as well if they do you know I we do you know come across those things but this is definitely it because we need to eat greener meals and you know, if I am a seven or so, that has been helpful. I've been eating a lot of home cooked meals, which is good for me. And I think Yabonji, yeah, it's very beneficial, you guys. So I'm loving it quite a lot. And yeah, I think that's just it's about it's week left September one mind The rest of it, I wanna take you guys along with me and not waste time because I wanna edit, remember. So I have my leftover meal that I cooked as well on Cartel and Beji Mini, guys. I cooked beef stew because remember last weekend it was super cold, snowing in KZN or yeah, most part of South Africa. We're going to snow, it was so cold, you guys. And unfortunately, Sunday we didn't have electricity. So I just wanted a home-cooked meal. So I made sure that Beji Mini and I finished super late. So I am yet to enjoy my food and edit at the very same time so yeah that's it i'm good i feel it feels good to be holding the camera i don't feel so far into you know vlogging even though i was i didn't take out my camera a mold yeah not that much yeah i didn't i didn't do that but yeah i think the guy was a i still just reminded me good see we Every time we we focus on a craft, we grow, and that's how we and also you know grow and level up in terms of like equipment by just doing something that we love. If it's something that you love, I think that he said that if it's something that you want to grow, you know, because he was sh he was showing me I'm a GoPros, and I'm just like I'm not just at this level, you know. I'm still like lifestyle as much as good my activities there and there but i don't think i'm at the point where i would say i need a gopro and just do all those extravagant things you know outings and all of that i would love to do that you know because i think we all love travel vlogs so that would be great but gay and he was just like you know what when you speak don't speak yourself out of things and they're gonna happen because you're gonna fall through he spoke about praying and I mean I only pray to God, you know, so I for me it's gonna be God. I'm gonna be telling God my dreams and all of that, which is just part of journaling. All my ideas and my feelings and my thoughts and my desires in life, they're all there. So yeah, I think that was just a great reminder to say don't speak yourself out of these beautiful things, beautiful experiences in life and they're gonna happen to you too. You're not um excluded from that type of life and that was quite a great reminder so until i cover which is just a bit sad 
I didn't get a cover but instead instead I had to buy this because I've been harassing my boyfriend I've been harassing my boyfriend I had to get just this uh, power adapter USB-C because my new phone is a USB-C both sides are USB-C and I also had to get this as in I had to get this as well which um I forgot the, the word I, should, I forgot the word I should be using guys completely <laughs> forgot the word and quickly, I have this mini thing in the being seized but I just feel like I'm Quickly, we convert <laughs> yeah it's gonna convert my USB C to a normal USB that I may be able to charge um in my car because my car doesn't have anything USB C gone. Two hundred rand is this shine this that's converting thing. And then, because my computer M17, it does have a USB-C. Uh, my laptop, USB-C is there. Um, one thing I would say being it I was this, because I want to make sure that my phone's new battery is taken care of. I don't just use any other adapter, but the one that is required. And your one was a good 500 rand. Can you imagine? Oh, I stole one. Because the thing is, Funagakulu is a phone cover, because currently... I have this one and even mama futa doesn't look like nice and yeah not the I'm, I'm vibing I man I'm just happy with it's currently protecting my phone but I'm not happy so yeah missing guys I'm I haven't eaten anything guys and also I am on my monthlies And in my life, what I've seen that authenticity has truly been one of my most beautiful gifts because I don't think I can actually function in an environment that allows me that doesn't allow me to be myself. Um, I will struggle, 100%. I love to be in an environment that allows me to be my silly self, to be my serious self, to be the many versions of who Dando is without that fear of what are people going to think, right? So, and that's the same thing when we put together this module. It's just wanting you to live very authentically and to, you know, when you go to sleep, there's a there's a video I actually saw not so long ago that says, you know, there are many things that happen in life and there are things that we encounter, situations that we encounter, people that we encounter. But at the end of the day, what you do want is that when you go to sleep, when you put your head down, it's just like today was another day of expressing myself as authentically as I know myself to be. And that's really the gift that we want to give to you as well with this module. It's also just getting to know yourself to the extent to say there are those unhealthy version of the unhealthy version of who I am and the healthy version of who I am. But again, it's just constantly not giving up on self and opening yourself and opening your arms to hug yourself as you get to know yourself to say, okay, I didn't know that you were like this, but let's work with that. And it's the same thing that we should gift other people as well, that we create spaces that they 
can um, be authentic, right? So that you are also not a person that's causing like, oh, judging others and so forth. But should people can be around you and they can be authentic. They can express themselves the way they should. And you don't find any offense because you've created that kind of space because what you find sometimes is people that have not been authentic to themselves they then want to impose that on other people so with that is just on an ending note before i take your questions it's around sustaining the confidence that you have built over time sustaining you living more authentically so that by the time you put your head down and you sleep you are able to say well done for today you know you you really were uh, the best version of who you can be and you're also allowing yourself that space to say okay i can't wait to see uh, the other stuff that you get to the other parts of your personality that comes out as life uh, lives as we put it like that for me how do we now go yes. for the questioning aspect okay thank you so much for sharing that i've got so many so so many notes um so there's a q a box at the bottom can you see oh, i see i see yes okay. so Catherine here from namibia how can one how can one be authentic when you sense a bit of jealousy in friendship when a friend wants to become like you oh my god you know how many times i get these friendship questions um and i've been i've been very blessed to have somewhat good friends I, i've never had like a lot of giving but also giving them that grace to kind of step back and be like okay i don't know what boom is going through but i know she's going through something when she's ready she'll come back and you must receive them back right yeah but honestly is the most important thing to just say friend i'm just not okay i'm not in a good space and it's not that for instance boom, maybe you're sharing good news and i just got fired at work and you just got a yeah. new job you know and yeah. i'm just like oh my gosh i'll just say that you know what i'm so excited for you oh, and it you just know. saddens me that i just lost my job and i i want to i want to be happy for you it's just right now this thing is heavy is weighing heavy on me I always thought i have to show up 100 percent, and then when you don't when you're not able anymore you almost go into hiding but this year, my theme for my birthday, my 30th year, was that I have to address the elephant in the room. So, for example, and this is like the duality, a very close friend of mine is getting married this year, but also um, my my family is going through the most. And I had to be honest and say, hey, I really want to shop for all the, the, the things. I want to shop for the bridal fittings, but I'll be honest with you, I just can't right now. And I think in that authentic honesty, if it's really your person, they will understand and they're allowed to be sad. The other thing is giving them permission that, and you're allowed to be hurt and you're allowed to be sad by me not being able to show up. Um, yeah. So, yeah. So I think the way we, being honest in friendship, which is not always easy. I feel like sometimes we don't know that we can be that honest um, in friendships. Yeah. I think a lot of people struggle with that, but it has saved, again, to reiterate your point, it saves a lot of relationships, it saves a lot of friendships. Just be honest to say, I'm just not in good space. Yeah, that's it. Yeah.
what's up you guys i am vlogging on my phone so yeah it is a day before i travel home it's the 26th of september and i'm traveling home you guys i want to go to gym i want to deliver a fruit dropper off the order it take a lot pick a point that i want to exchange or refund um and at the very same time i want to go to the gym so i don't know how i'm gonna prep to go home this time around where's gonna go to the corner in kent i do have a i do have dresses that i can wear because mina i'm going home going home i'm not going to the wedding i'm just going home because i normally go home the main event for me is going home and seeing my family but okay we're gonna go to the wedding so yeah the reason i'm vlogging today show you guys just snippets of my mornings is because i want to take you guys along um this week mainly because it is the last full week of speak life september but this does well as the check is really when i'm out to some guns or something i understand that's why i'm like i need to use my phone at times because i'm not like the camera i am and the camera's charging right now anyway I won't cut it, guys. Thank God I'm not hungry. I still have a banana and apple. Um, I need to drink water, hydrate, and just that. And yeah, guys, hope you guys are enjoying this content. And let me quickly call my mom before we leave the scene. Talk to you guys when I can. Only like, yeah, we'll show you anything that I'm gonna be doing. Another day 
um you know what as much as i wanted to you know make this vlog a bit fun you know make it fun take you guys along mommy's and Manuana stuff or speak last september activities i am on my way home though so it is a friday 27th of september um i think i wasted a bit of time by going to the china store that i normally go to but i didn't vlog that part um these are the things that i got it's just puzzles and i also needed a cable for my the mini router so i was like you know what let me just go there once and for all but then i ended up just checking things around i'm in Elmelo right now at mcdonald's they don't have a big mac how strange here's the end of your so yeah, I am just about that life today, traveling in Sugar late. I think I left with bank at 2 and the time right now is 1639. I am hoping I get to be threatened while stores are still open because if you're not new here, you know Guti, I do my stop the new tenga umgenanti. Oh guys, yeah, you know. Something. So I buy that those things there okay? because it's normally or usually food. Okay. Yes, Mama. 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 When I wasn't confused, I ended up buying a snack wrap. No matter how small, doesn't matter. I just want to have something to eat. Mm, I didn't even take Ama. Ama vitamin one. A huge part of me. I want to go get my multivitamins just to avoid headaches and all of those things on the road. Check two guys when I can. <laughs> My wrap is seriously tiny. It's a snack wrap. Snack wrap plus some fries. And yeah. I come back. Battery is low. So I'm not going to vlog. But I just went to... The bonus, where is it? It's just right behind me. Somewhere over that. Yeah, it's it's behind me. Went to Dibonez, ordered pizza. Now I wanna go to pick and pay, which is this side. Not too far, but I don't know. Let me try to Somewhere around 
quarter past eight something like that yeah somewhere around quarter past eight ne? i get home and then yeah everyone was just so chatty many and they wanted me to just all assist them with the puzzle that i got them yesterday yeah it was nice but there's, there's a wedding happening today so we started talking about that and unfortunately there's a funeral happening today or this morning so my mom and my sister they went there I mean, I am left with the kids and the time now it's quarter past 10 I want to have green tea I feel like I'm late already but you know my Joel, I'm just so used to having my start my morning with green tea so I think I want to do that and then um, continue cleaning the house I'm almost done and I want to charge this camera because I might use them in charging just to take snippets you know not to say you're gonna vlog the whole entire thing ever and yeah i want to see if my outfit is as long as the theme is tradition and i don't have tradition stuff games or one of things i'm done so yeah that's it you guys there's this notification going in and out let me see gonzala and the unfortunate part with my say hi and i go vlog out to my brother let me call him I look gay guys, but you know, I will try. So, yeah, I'm gonna catch up with you guys sometime later. Let me be busy. Good Maba figure. Let me have green tea. Just so that Maba figure, I take a bath and we hit the road. Obviously, we're not going there like early. Catch up with you guys when I've sorted myself out and she's in skin. Not so bad, guys. I feel like young Caesar in. But I had e e e Clarence serum as well, which was so tiny because it was like a sample. I, I was using it with that Pons serum also, remember? For, I think it's anti mac something like that. I showed you guys, but I'm still going to show you. And I had marks. If you remember some of my vlogs, I think I might show that clip. A picture, because I didn't take pictures. Because I didn't think about it before and after using it. But honestly, it did a number on my skin. It, you know, it helped to reduce my marks. But I also believe in sunscreen. So if you have spots and stuff on your face and you're not using sunscreen, please get yourself a good sunscreen. I'm currently using Nivea anti-aging sunscreen and I'm loving it. It doesn't irritate my eyes. So, yeah. Laters. you go
like I'm calling. I am back, you guys, and I just want to show you my outfit. And give it a nice camera, I am. And I'm not about to get a tripod just for this. This was my outfit. This is my old piece. So I just put E Lokanj on top of my outfit. So it's this top that I got from HM. And this is how it looks without that. And if it's do guys. So this top I got from HM, my birthday shopping that I did. And these pants. These are the pants and these are my shoes and that was my outfit of the day and that was my outfit of the day guys I did my makeup <laughs> quick in a hurry I did my eyebrows in the car so if I can any please understand okay so yeah did just a little something something it was my fit me foundation put on some powder blush it was that simple mascara but i feel like my eyes they really do need like lashes to pop lip combo is because we ate sanas we ate and these earrings i can't remember where i bought these earrings if it's not Willis, it's um I think it's Willis. It has to be Willis because normally I buy my earrings there. Super cute. And yeah. Let me change and be comfortable and finish my vlog. Because tomorrow is Sunday. I wanna give you guys a vlog on a Sunday and listen and joke by Sekaya. And yeah. Love yours. No such thing. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. Love yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. No such thing. No such thing. Heart better than yours. Love yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. Love yours. No such thing as a life. Good morning, guys. It is the what is it today? It's Monday. I'm not at work, but it is the 30th of September today, last day of my birthday month. I think it was quite a very it was quite a good month. It was quite a good month. There were so many things that so many realizations as I do my reflections, you know. But to say the least, it was a very good month. It was a very successful month. And, you know, I think I say success because I realized one thing during my Sweet Love September is that oh, also, I just managed to only journal this morning because I have an early morning. I had an early morning time when I was probably 20 past, yeah, 24 minutes past seven. And I am. Um, taking my mom to town the weather is on the gloom side it's really raining right now so i want to take it to town shim oh, that's really bad one thing about me i'm from my mom oh i'm from the town mama i'm from the girl mama so i just have to take it to town because you know there's a couple of things that she needs i want to take it to town um and then afternoon i have to head back to the city of coal in malasini with bank so i have quite a lot of things to do in G this morning you know and i want to leave early because the weather is bad i think and hopefully um afternoon is going to be better i just pray that there isn't traffic you know today so yeah i had an early morning because of that and i couldn't do everything that i'm supposed to do i didn't read the book of proverbs um 
so yeah i'm also right now before my mom comes here because <laughs> i need to have my breakfast and then we leave you know um my sister's also living but she's going to secunda so Njegu that i couldn't work out but i still journaled read the word i still it ate healthy you know if failing to do something that it should not take away the fact that there's things that I won at it should not take you know all the victory away from me just because I failed to do one thing and you know with valid reasons at times sometimes you're just tired you know sometimes you're lazy but that's what we're fighting during this week lab September don't be lazy show up for yourself but if something happens that's you know sort of like challenging at the moment don't put all your energy and focus on that challenging part if there's not if there's something you can do to change it to, then you know make the change but if there isn't something you can do learn to focus and do good and and keep it moving and move forward so yeah also i just came in here to close the vlog and say thank you so much for watching the vlog hope you've enjoyed it and see you on the next vlog vlog but don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't and don't forget your notification bell so that you get notified every time I post a new video. And yeah, my show just snippets of what I'm going to be up to today, but if I can because the weather is bad and I am, I still have a very long drive waiting for me. So I think I'm gonna just cut this video here. Feels good to be home. Being set to be leaving my niece and nephew on this very rainy day. Set to be leaving my mom's and you know my younger brother and you know just the family. Really sad about that. But I just thank God you will see my right. And you know I have means to come and see them. And yeah, all is well. And God is good. And yeah. Bye. <laughs> I love yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. No such thing, no 